Good morning from Skagway. We're here. We woke up this morning and we were already here, so we missed the sailing, but it is very peaceful here. We are surrounded by beautiful mountains, and it's a bit chillier here in yep. Skagway, but not... not <laughs> yeah, you can see the breath. Not chilly enough that I uh, need to be wearing a toque or mitts or anything just yet, but uh, we're doing I'm the... I'm wearing my toque. <laughs> Yeah, Kayla was wearing a toque yesterday, a though. Yeah, I'm always wearing a toque. <laughs> um, so today we are doing the White Pass Scenic Railway with Royal Caribbean. Mm -hmm. um, today, what's different about the port, maybe for you guys, I don't know if it'll be the same when you get here, but the there was landslides down on the pier, so we actually have to take a shuttle to downtown like area. Literally right over there. We have to take a shuttle, like, right over to that little spot. Yeah, it's, <laughs> so not, it's not far. Not far at all. So, but we do have to like get shuttle tickets, wait our turn, mm -hmm. and then go when we're called. So that's kind of probably a little bit different, but hopefully that's not the case when you're here. You could just get off and walk. Um, but yes, we're very excited. Our railway is at what time? 11.30? 11.30. So I picked it we'll a bit let later just because I heard it kind of gets cold up in the train. So uh, we brought some extra clothes and I picked noon-ish because hopefully it'll be a little bit warmer. See. But we're gonna do just the morning stuff before we breakfast. have to get off. Breakfast, coffee, that kind of thing, and uh, hopefully by the time we get off, everyone's already off, and you can just walk out and get a shuttle. Yeah, at, at one point when enough people have gone, we won't need shuttle tickets. So mm -hmm. it's moving pretty fast. They've already called four uh, buses. So yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's go explore Skagway. <laughs> You getting any good shots, Kayla? I've been like recording for like, I don't even know, 40 minutes. I know, I was recording too. the longest video ever. Did you get any close-ups? I close got ups? a couple like where he was over here, or she was over here. Um, it's literally right under us right now, over here. I think I got a good close-up or two, but... so cool, it's put on a little show for us today. Yeah, they are. like 13 minutes of just yeah. pure video. So how's your breakfast going? Um, I mean, it's stone cold now. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, wow, we saw a whale for free. Yeah, pretty amazing. And like, right beside us. Not like, oh, look over there, that's a whale over there. No, this whale just like, yeah. basically Especially, waved at us. Yeah. The back of the wind jammer, guys. That's the, uh, that's the spot. place to be. Yeah, if you're on the ovation, I guess. It's the outdoor seating back there. It's amazing. Yeah. So it looks like you get off the ship. You have to walk, walk through these sea cans. five minutes, maybe, just through the sea cans here to the shuttle. And then I guess there's an area where it's not safe. So that's where they're having us get on the shuttle. So we should be in Skagway shortly. It looks like they're gonna have us on this bus here. Yeah, it looks like it. We picked a great time because there's like yeah. Nobody getting Nobody's off the Nobody's getting ship. off yet. They're saying they're surprised. They how... have all the poor staff standing by the doors, freezing to death, waiting for people to come off, and no one's coming off. You're not allowed to bring chug... coffee or food. So Kayla, did you yeah, have to chug my piping hot, yeah. freshly made, perfectly made coffee from the Windjammer. And uh, yeah, I no longer can taste. <laughs> as soon as you get off the shuttle bus, all the Royal Caribbean excursions are right there. Really easy to find. <laughs> and actually, the Royal Caribbean staff had you meet them. If you had an excursion first thing, you're actually gonna meet them in the Royal Theater. And then they walk off together and you get like priority exit off the ship. But ours is not till 11.30, so we're walking to town. It's a quarter mile uh, after the shuttle. So get our steps in. Kayla's feeling a little sore from yesterday's yeah. canoe hike excursion, but. My arms, I have weak arms. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do physical activity, so this, my body's a little in shock. <laughs> it's not bad. Got to work off the calories. Yeah. And uh, if you're gonna, you know, walk a quarter mile somewhere, this is the place to do it. Yes. My first impression is this is a little cute little town. I don't think there's gonna be much to do in here. 
Uh, besides maybe some shopping, some shops. maybe a brewery or a restaurant. Yeah, there's the red onion. The red onion, yeah. I think we're going to try to do some of this stuff before we get on the train. So, since we have a couple hours. Well, I went from cold to oh, yeah, I'm really hot now in the sun. I'm not hot, but I'm like happy. I'm wearing fleece, so. Mm -hmm. We got there, right? Okay, we stopped at this place called Klondike Doughboy. And this is basically just like a beaver tail at home. So it's actually a pretty common uh, like food we find in the wintertime in Canada. But I uh, thought I'd get one in Alaska. It looks amazing. It's so hot. <laughs> no, we both have burnt tongues. Mm. It's so good. It's basically like... Just get a close up there. It's a cinnamon sugar. So yep. It's basically fried dough rolled in cinnamon sugar. It's like a long, flat donut, and it's yep. the best thing ever. I'm so sad I can't eat it. They have like a ton of stores here. A um, lot of like knickknacky type stores. Jewelry. Yeah, jewelry stores. A lot of like, a you know, uh, cruise port shopping mm -hmm. kind of thing. There's actually a deal for cruisers. You get a one carat diamond ring for 995 bucks. Okay. So if you're looking to propose, <laughs> It's a great opportunity. Yeah, we can do it in Skagway. Yeah. The only shopping I like to do is like something to create the memory with, you know, mm -hmm. like something that means something like the shot glass or a t-shirt or, or something like that. Of, I don't want to say junk, but like it's easy to collect too much stuff. So we like to pick one thing to collect. Yeah, definitely. This is the store where you come and buy your little souvenirs for sure. It's pretty big. They have everything here. Reminds me a lot of the um, Alaska t-shirt company we saw yesterday. We talked a lot about with this like Devil's Club um, healing properties that it has. From what we remember, it's pretty expensive. Like this tub is 20 bucks. And what is this, a lip chap? Yeah. And the lip chap is $6, not the worst. It's expensive for a lip chap. Not the worst. This is the salve that they were talking about. Mm -hmm. That one is 24 bucks. Yeah. So, <laughs> are you gonna get one? Um, I was thinking about it, but... You'll never be here again. I know, but I also have... Well, that's not necessarily bag. true, but you know what yeah. I mean. I'm gonna head back down to over there. That's where the Red Onion was. They yeah. open at 10. Red Onion Saloon was a brothel back in the day. Yeah, so we'll go in there and see what that's like. So we're here five minutes before they open. We thought there'd be more of a line. Why doesn't we know? Nobody here. We're actually first in line. Guys, you're going to want to stick around for today because we're just waiting to get in the Red Onion. The train ride is going to be so beautiful. There is not a cloud in the sky right now, and I hope it stays that way. It is a beautiful day. We should have some really great sights. I'd recommend sticking around if you're at all interested. I'll do my best to show you the full experience. I just want to mention how beautiful the weather is. I'm in a t-shirt and I'm probably going to get another sunburn. <laughs> Kayla, do you want to uh, go for a quickie here? Oh yeah. Always. Looks like it's a ten dollar. <laughs> ten dollars for a quickie. It's uh, cheap. <laughs> um, we're we're getting a reindeer fart. What's a reindeer fart? It's a red onion saloon original. It's a shot that a tastes shot. like Christmas in your mouth. What's in it? Kahlua, yeah, Kahlua Baileys, Baileys, and, and peppermint schnapps. Okay, so here's our reindeer fart. <laughs> And here's the spruce tip beer. So, we'll start with the shot. All right, Kayla. Bottoms up. That's tasty. It is something I would enjoy in Christmas time, actually. Yum. Okay, and time for the spruce tip. <laughs> the bartender was saying this has your daily vitamin C. Who knew that drinking beer was so healthy for you? Oh yeah, you can taste the citrus. It's really good. So we just stopped at the uh, train store on the way back to the ship. You can buy tickets here. It's 150 mm -hmm. US per person. Uh, there are the trains do sell out, so you're kind of risking not uh, getting a spot. But today they had you know two available, so it's definitely possible. Could have <laughs> yep. and we paid more with Royal Caribbean, so I'm not even sure. You always I'm not pay even more sure why. <laughs> yeah. 
upcharge, right? They gotta pay the bills. <laughs> yeah. So they also have a coffee place in, in here. So Kayla got another I'm gonna get my coffee. tea, and this time I'm gonna finish it, not burn my tongue. You can also get on board here too, but I think the meeting place for Royal is back to the ship. So yep. I don't know if we get on first or how that works exactly, but we'll let you know. So you basically just sit wherever you want, which is nice. And I think I saw a YouTube video that if you sit on the right, it's better on the way there. Kayla thinks it's left, so we're going to see who's right here. We are leaving in about five more minutes. They do have restrooms and water, complimentary, on every car. So that's pretty good. We're going to be leaving here to go to the in-town station that we were at earlier. Everyone gets on the same train. I guess we just get on first to That's, get better... That might be the only reason to buy with Royal and to reserve the exact time For those of you. Here we go. Here we go then. Wow. I'm so happy it's nice out because it's like really cool to be out here and like you do have to because a lot of people want to take the same photo so you do have to take yeah. your turn yeah okay, i gotta be a nice person and you know rotate and yeah. give everyone a chance we are pretty skeptical of doing this i can already tell i'm glad we are here yeah. glad we did it i think i was wrong i did a time lapse of my gopro looking out the right to way tell you. and everything is on the left so we'll try to catch it on the way down i guess or maybe it just hasn't opened up yet we'll see have to self listen to your wife <laughs> yeah i was wrong on this one <laughs> getting a lot colder and you can see there's a lot more snow now. I had to go back inside put my sweater layer back on, my hat, my mitts. So Yeah, come with a couple layers. Come with layers, yeah. It starts out warm and it seems to be getting colder as we go up. That's not the most beautiful sight I've ever seen. And the view is good too. No. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> it's all uh, snow now up here. Oh, yeah. Very beautiful. I'm so glad we did this. Yeah. We were thinking, like, eh, a train it's ride. It's pretty expensive it's for the train ride, but it you're right. Worth it. Awesome. The fact that you can come outside is probably the best part. Yeah, it is. I know it's probably just as good looking through the window, but like, it's yeah. just like, I don't What know. a way to experience Alaska. Yeah, this used to be where it went. It's the more fortified one, I guess. <laughs> We might be at the summit, guys. I'm, uh, I think we might be looping around. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, it's so
we've turned back around now. I am time lapsing in the right direction. <laughs> so we're just going to enjoy the scenery and time lapse the trip back for you guys so you can see the full ride. And, and then you'll be able to know if this is something that you want to do. If you enjoyed the train ride so far, go ahead and hit the like. And if you want to go one step further, hit the subscribe for us. <laughs> enjoy the train ride. And we've arrived back in town. I hope the time lapse uh, worked, worked out for out. you guys. I'm not sure exactly. It ran out of batteries close ish back to the town. Not most of it. Yeah. Overall, this was a great trip, and uh, I'm so glad we did it because I, I think I was saying earlier we were close to canceling it because we so weren't too close. sure about it. It's pretty expensive 200 US each with Royal Caribbean, but it I would. It was super worth yeah. it. I, I would, would probably, do it again. I would probably just buy it in the town because Save we have. Extra two cruise ships here today and they did have available time so if you didn't care about what time you got on the uh, train train ride then you could just go and buy whatever tickets available I guess it could be sold out and you run that risk but it save you a hundred US dollars and if you're coming in May it's a little bit of a quieter season I think it'd right be more that's a good uh, that's a good call probably mm -hmm. busier but if there's you know there's two cruise ships here one of them is a quantum one of them is in a region sun so I don't know how many passengers that one holds but let's say there's about six to seven thousand people on the island today so mm -hmm. or in Skagway rather if you're coming in June July August you're you're talking probably five or six cruise ships so yeah it was uh, yeah it was really great trip I would definitely recommend doing it mm -hmm. um, the coaches were comfortable like mm -hmm. the the train coaches were comfortable bathrooms. Uh, had bathrooms with the water and it was actually pretty warm inside the yeah. train cars. I didn't find it cold. It was cold if people left the doors yeah. open and stuff. Or if obviously you were out on the platforms, it got chilly. So just bring lots of layers on you. Yeah, and once we got up there, it was kind of cool. Oh, we yeah. had to make sure we had like... really cold. I kind of wish I had mitts. But I was just wearing a fleece outer, and this is in May, and it was really... I was fine with that. Kayla had a, a sweater and a vest. But then once we were back in the car, it was fine. I could have just been in a light sweater or now something Ryan's like that. Now again. <laughs> yeah, it's really hot here today, like I was saying, so I'm back in a t-shirt. I'm I just starting to warm up because yeah. I was cold. <laughs> I think we're going to do a little trail walk that someone had recommended to us back when we were at the Red Onion. I don't remember what it's called. I know we have to go that way. That's it. <laughs> I think we found something on the other side of the train tracks. Wrong side of the tracks. <laughs> yeah. They were completely wrong yeah, when they totally, told us where to go. We found totally it. Wrong directions, but we, we were almost going to give up, but we found a trail. So, let's do a little bit of exploring. It's going uphill. You guys will see it in a minute. Okay. I think we might be in for it here. Yep. Oh my god. That's steep, guys. Holy smokes. Kind of reminds me of the, the Dominican. The waterfall climb. Oh, I don't know. This is higher. Oh, man. This oh, check out this sign here. <laughs> Looking sketchy. <laughs> the train is a bit uneven, a little bit rocky. You know, you don't have physical limitations when you're coming up here. But it's pretty beautiful. Like, this would be a really good option to do, like, for free. 
We just ran into some other hikers. They said it's another steep climb for like 20 more minutes, but it's completely worth it because they said that the lake that you see, I think the sign might have said it's called Dewey Lake, like but the lake that we water. see is going to be like a mile long. And I'll show you. Oh dear what God. What kind of climb we're yeah. for? Oh my God. What a way to experience Alaska though, the nature, right? Well, our step counter is going to be off the charts today. That's good. It means we can take the elevator later. <laughs> How you doing, Kill? Hang in there. Still got your mitts on. I'm not hot yet. I'm at <laughs> a very comfortable temperature right now. Guys, I can see the Norwegian uh, sun from here. Ooh. I think if there's going to be a cool lookout, that'd be awesome. path here is getting a little unsafe. I mean, just keep that in mind. There's like kind of a hill here, but that's the way forward. There's this other path over here. I don't know where this one leads, but we're not here to die. You know, die. <laughs> yeah. Cautionary, you guys. Be careful. I gotta say, I love this stuff though. This is so much fun. There ain't nothing lower about this, like. Lower lake. We just bumped into some other hikers. They said that they've been hiking since 10:30 here. They went all the way up to the upper part of the mountain, touched the snow, and came back down. Now we asked them how far the lower lake is. They said what half an hour. So we're gonna keep going to the lower lake. But I think if I came back to Skagway, this might be what I do. Like. I've already done the, the white pass, so this would be the next best option and it's free. So if you're physically capable, this could be a lot of fun. What do you think, Kayla? Ask me later. <laughs> Kayla, what was more work, this or the Hollywood sign? Oh my god, this. <laughs> There's also no bugs in LA. That is true, no bugs in LA. My heart's starting to hurt. Yeah. I think, uh, if we ever come back here and you want to do a five hour hike, <laughs> I'll see in the spa. Oh yeah? And you can go. Get your Vitality Spa Pass. Yeah. I'll get some sort of treatment that makes me look 10 years younger. You'll come oh. back 10 years older. You just gotta forget about the pain and appreciate the moment. Oh yeah. The memory. I'll appreciate it when we're there. <laughs> it is breathtaking up here. Yeah. Check out this drone footage I got. I'll show it to you in a minute if I haven't shown it already, but holy smokes, it's peaceful, it's beautiful. There's even people kayaking up here. I'm not exactly sure how you got that up here, but. I'm not sure, and there's people walking their dogs, so. What a great way to spend the remainder of our day in Skagway. We like definitely burned some calories, definitely earned our Izumi tonight, for sure. We're gonna just hang out for a minute here and then we're going to start heading back. It's, what time is it? It's four. It's four o'clock, all aboard is 6.30? I think so. 6.30 or seven. Seven, I think, maybe. So maybe, let's say it takes us half an hour to an hour to get back and then uh, we'll be ready, for, we'll have to get ready for dinner. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed our day so far in Skagway. We're gonna head back to the ship and- We're uh, supposed to try roller skating in the Oh, C we might be late. We are booked for that. We'll see what we can do. If we can get to roller skating, that, that would be, be great fun. because like, it's not offered a ton on, on this ships, itinerary. Honestly. Yeah, and uh, we did the ice skating once, and that yeah. was a lot of fun. That's so fun. roller skating should be a blast, and then Izumi after, and then we don't we don't even know what's on the uh, the there's royal. There's not a ton, honestly. Like I looked, and there's one show and a game show, and that's it. So it's actually pretty quiet today yeah. on the ship. I'm okay with that because we've too. done a lot today. <laughs> um, so let's just enjoy some of these yeah. Wish views us luck and uh, we'll get lost on the way back. Hopefully, yeah, we can get back. <laughs>
then we're back down. Just wanted to show you how to get here. You follow the train tracks past the city, and then you come, you come down here, and then you can go up the trail from there. There's like a little neighborhood entrance though, so I recommend going through that way. And it doesn't look like you should come this way, but like it's clear path. So if you guys liked the drone footage that you saw on any of our vlogs, this... Yeah, we got the glacier yesterday. Glacier yesterday. A little bit of the ship today. Yeah, which the... is really hard to do. We got the lower lake. Mm -hmm. So if you guys liked any of that footage, um, we just realized that we haven't named our drone yet. Yeah. So we need help picking a name for her. So drop a few ideas, ideas for us yeah. in the comment box below. And then maybe what we'll do is we'll take a few and uh, toss them in a pole. That she deserves good. a name. And also, I'm thinking it's a female though. You know how you name cars know, and like, boats yeah, and stuff? She's, she's got to be a girl. She's yeah. like a ship. She's like a car. Yeah. Um, or a cruise related name. We're back on board. And this little devil woman here says we got to climb 12 flights of stairs. Okay, well, we were waiting for her like forever and the elevators weren't coming so I was like let's just go up a few flights and then jump on an elevator there but she got a movement app it says we've done like 60 flights of stairs today yeah you living the dream or what I am honestly my feet are so sore like they're just so happy to be suspended in the air right now my feet are sore too mm -hmm. I'm, I feel like we haven't really like enjoyed our balcony to the fullest. I'm hoping tomorrow. Every because, morning I'm out there for a sim. Yeah, you're setting up and like taking pictures, but we haven't really just like sat That's and, true. Like, enjoyed it. So I think tomorrow, because we're like doing the end of co arm later in the day, I think we should get up like whenever, get coffee, come back to the room, sit, watch like all the view and then like hop up to the top of the ship. Yeah, that sounds good. What we can see. Paid more than It's been worth it so far. I, love I don't know it. if I could do it every time, but I know I wish we could, but um, it's definitely been worth it for this trip for sure. Because there's so much to see. It's not like when you're in the Caribbean and you're kind of way off. And it's just the ocean. There's a lot to see in Alaska. Definitely. Yeah, but we're starving right now. So quick snack yeah. and a beverage in the Diamond Lounge, and then we're gonna head over to roller skating. I think it's in 20 or 30 minutes from now. So we don't have Carry too much time, me. but. <laughs> Kayla's feeling pretty weak. We killed it today, so. 15,000 steps and 60 flights of stairs. 15,000 steps and 60 flights of stairs so far. Let's head to the Diamond Lounge. I really like the uh, Esplanade. Mm -hmm. The Promenade's good too, but the Esplanade is kind of more like, it's gonna sound weird kind of, but it's like more warming. It's smaller, so. Yeah, yeah. maybe that's why. It's like more of a family feel. <laughs> Yeah. But you know what I was just thinking? You know where we haven't been yet? Because I just walked by it. It's Boleros. We haven't gone one time to Boleros. That used to be our go-to pre-dinner drink Why place. haven't we been there? Because we've been going to the Diamond Lounge. Oh, for the pre-dinner drinks. Yes. Yeah, we're spoiled now. I know. The events haven't been too popping in there besides like trivia either. Yeah. It seems like a lot of the entertainment happens in the music hall. So maybe, right yeah, maybe that's why. But. We'll see. Maybe we'll find our way there. Maybe. Maybe I'll not tonight. We have to have at not least tonight. one drink of Boleros because we have to be to every bar. So. For sure. Wait in line. Go roller skating. Get the dirty Grey Goose martini. I was going to say, there's no better way to wait in line than with a drink. <laughs> I'm so excited to roller skate. I'm sorry. I know you're not like I haven't been on like jazz boats. I've done roller blades, but roller skates? Like, I don't I know. really hope they're the four ones. You know, like, Are these like the old disco just, ones? I, that's what I want. And I want to hear disco music. Like I want to hear like some jams. I basically want to pretend I'm rolling out like a tray of hamburgers to like a car in the 50s, you know. <laughs> okay, it's pretty ridiculous to have you wear a wrist pad, an elbow pad, I have to wear a knee pad, and and I also have to put on a helmet. If you know me, I have a big head. These never fit, but we are ready to go. <laughs> How you doing, Kayla? I'm a little nervous. This is much harder than. This uh, is harder than the three like roller. Than actually rollerblading. It takes some getting used to for sure. Oh God. <laughs> Guys, the stop is actually just like this toe here. I don't even understand. It. Like, <laughs> Kayla's right, this is pretty fun. She's back there, I think she's going pretty slow. 
once you get the hang of it, it's not bad, but the four roller skating wheels is pretty, pretty weird. That's us. <laughs> Looking good, Kayla. Right? It's much harder. Although you picked it up pretty good. I just like dancing. I was, you know, I was trying, you know? Like. Yeah. Feeling good. Now I smell like hockey equipment. Oh my god, yeah. Okay, so this is a helpful hint for everyone. Don't wear cute ankle socks when you oh, do this. Oh, did you get a burn? Because, like, I don't know if you can see it, right here is really red. So, like, right in here, these little grommets are going to rub on your ankle. Um, so try to wear, like, crew socks um, or socks that hit a little bit higher. Or, like, if you're wearing leggings or something, try and pull them under your ankle because, like, ankle socks ain't going to do it. Hey everyone, Ryan's about to apologize because of how much fun we had. Yeah, no, it was fun. So fun! Um, yeah, is that, Hard. What, is that what a roller derby yeah. used to look like? Or a yes. uh, roller disco? Yes. That's More dancing disco, maybe? Roller or roller dancing, like all that stuff. Like that's why they used to serve hamburgers to people. Um, that's what they do. Um, what's those roller ball tournaments? Um, what are they called? Like it's a girls rugby on wheels, Oh, I know basically. what you're talking about, but I don't know the name. Oh my god. Yeah, it's like a roller derby type thing. I think it might be called roller derby. I'm sorry for anyone that plays that. I'm having a mind blank. I did have to chug my martini before we did that, so that was <laughs> yes, also probably more dangerous than me actually skating around with it. Now, if you've watched our vlogs before, you know Kayla and I love Izumi. I think we're just doing the a la carte tonight because they give you so much food, it's like, oh my god. It's insane. You'll see what I mean, like one plate is good enough, unless you come in really, really hungry. Okay, tonight they have this, uh, it was full, like we didn't make a reservation, so we're sitting at the sushi bar, which is actually kind of fun. I like it. Because we can sit, like, cook. yeah, we watch them cook and we can sit, like, next to each other like this. It's kind of fun. We never sit next to each other at dinner. Hi. Hello. How are you? <laughs> but yeah, they're right in front of us. It's crazy. Okay, so, sadly I couldn't get my seaweed salad made gluten-free. Which is strange. You got it both times before. I got it before, but I, it's possible that maybe there's sauce. You never know. I'd rather yeah. them be safe than sorry. That's true. They might not have the alternative sauce. But I was able to get my fried rice, which I always get, and it's the best, so... Yeah, I know you always talk about this fried rice. It's very flavorful and very good, so... And this time, for those who watched our other vlog and I accidentally used my chopsticks upside down, they are right side up this time. <laughs> Thank you for pointing that out. I was thoroughly embarrassed. She's normally good. Both Mine hasn't come good. yet. Um, Kayla sorry, ordered more than wait. me. I ordered, like, one big plate. And then Kayla ordered a bunch of small plates. So. I ordered two, well three, but I only get, I'm getting two, so I'm getting yeah. this. And then I got my vegetarian sushi. Mmm, looks actually pretty good. Let's pick up this monster here. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, look how big the pieces are. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> Cheers. Ooh. I don't know if I can put that in there. I did it. You can do it. Whew. I'm stuck. I'm so happy because I was so hungry. Yeah. And now I'm just so satiated. I know. And just... you know what's great about the a la carte guys is it cost me $17 for my meal and it's more than enough food. Mm -hmm. Now you can go crazy and buy the $34.99 all inclusive. Everything. But trust You're me on this. Leave needing a crane. Yeah, one large plate is a lot of food. And then there's plenty of other free options if you need to, you know, top up. Yeah. So Izumi, like, we really like, because it's the cheapest specialty restaurant that you can get. And, and the food the is best. incredible. There's a couple things going on in the music hall. We'll check those out. I got to hunt down one of the foster cans. You know those big foster cans? If you have a diamond voucher or, like, a 50% off voucher if you're emerald or something like that, they're really good value because they're, like, two beers in one. And, you know, there's a lot of Australians on this cruise because it came from Australia. Australia. Foster's is an Australian beer, so... Oh, we're sailing away. It's going out quick. Oh. Sorry, I just noticed we're sailing Let's go away. take a little picture of outside here. We're looking for our whale, but... Yeah, he gave a good show earlier. He's probably taking his own rest. Yeah, probably. 
Yeah, maybe yeah. we'll see another one. I don't know, that'd be amazing. Yeah, I don't have my big lens though, so. It's a little chilly. Yeah, a lot colder <laughs> I, out of the sun for mistake. sure. <laughs> sweater with a bunch of holes in it. But yeah. <laughs> it's so beautiful out here. Like, I just want to take it all in. Yes, I Good vibe, good band, a lot of dancing. Okay, we got a little treat for ourselves. We got a pistachio macaroon. Macaron. Macaron. Macaroon is like the coconut thing. Okay. Macaron is macaron. macaron. And a salted caramel macaron. I'm gonna have a bite and then we'll switch. Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay you try the salted caramel first. Okay. a second for that salted caramel to hit, but there it is. I had the pistachio. Mm. Tasted good. Yeah, and try the pistachio one. It's so good. It's so good. Not as much flavor in that one, I found. Yeah. It's a little bit blander. It's so flaky, though. Like, it falls it's right still, apart. Yeah, like, right? it's still a good macaron, but... I think the salted caramel one was fire. We're here in the music hall doing finish that lyric. Just watching, not participating. <laughs> you have to be pretty brave to uh, play this game. But basically, you just make sure the music plays and then you just finish the lyric. It's a pretty simple game. But uh, yeah, having a lot of fun. I got another Hotel California drink, which is like the spicy one we got last night. We are back in the stateroom. I hope you enjoyed our day in Skagway. This was a day to remember. I don't know which day was better, the glacier or the whale, the train, and the hiking. I, probably the glacier, but this was a close second. I hope you guys stayed for the whole thing. We had a great day. Uh, we're going to go actually uh, change and go to the hot tub, but we are going to put the camera away. I got a lot of batteries to charge. <laughs> Did a lot of filming today. I hope you enjoyed the drone footage. Tomorrow we are at the Endicott Dawes Glacier, but what's really exciting about that is we're doing the North Star during the time that we're there. So I hope to catch some good footage for you. Stay tuned for that. Like and subscribe to follow continuous cruise content, and we'll see you tomorrow.